Yo, welcome back everyone. We're outside in the most popular touristy destination in Seoul. We're in Insadong. You can see this kind of street behind me. Let me walk out a bit. Yeah, this street behind me. Sun's in my face, sorry guys. Uh, this is the most uh, popular area that a lot of uh, foreigners and tourists alike come and visit. It is the, uh, probably like one of the best cultural centers in Seoul. This is where you can find a lot of traditional Korean stuff, food, items, clothing, hanbok, and then there's the palace nearby as well. Um, to get over here, we came from Jongno Station, which I'll show a little clip of uh, where that is. And you'll be walking from this street and this will take you to kind of like the middle of Jongno, or sorry, Insadong area. We're just gonna go ahead and take a quick walking tour, show off the various stores, the places that you can go and grab some uh, cool Korean style souvenirs and uh, grab some current traditional Korean food as well and then hit up a very special cafe. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the special Insadong walking tour today as well as look at some delicious Korean food. Let's get it. Let's go. All right. It's actually quite nice today because uh, there's not a lot of people, which is very interesting. Normally this place is always packed full of people. Um, but on the street, this is like where, if you guys are ever looking for a specific place to buy, like that special gift for someone while you're visiting or get some just delicious Korean food, anything that is Korean related, this is the street where you want to stop by and kind of visit. Now I've been here myself multiple times, uh, like the first few times that I visited. Um, it has not been a place I've come back to in quite some time actually. Uh, just because I try to avoid some of the touristy places, but I did want to show it off because this is a must uh, do or must visit place and a uh, very nice place to kind of see the mix of traditional and new as well. Even though this is one of the uh, more touristy places to come visit in Seoul, it's still a really nice place to come hang out, I think, in my opinion. As I said, uh, just kind of see all the different shops that they have and just all the like really unique I think styles of clothing that they've made like these kind of traditional slash modern humboks are really nice I think and that's just kind of some of the stuff you can see here also uh, if you want to see some of the um, more modern places like Starbucks is kind of further down the road some of the like newer buildings, they actually write the names in Korean as well, like Su Ta Box, which is kind of neat. It's a nice little touch. I like that. I'm very happy today that there's not a lot of people because um, usually this place does get very, very, very busy. So it's kind of nice to come over here and not see a lot of people and record uh, very well for you guys. Over here, you can um, make your own stamp, which I have not yet done, but um, there's not really too much a reason to make your own stamp um, unless you're the owner of a business, I think. Uh, these days they don't really use stamps anymore, they just use the normal signature. But you can make your own stamp with your name and uh, you can use it as an official uh, signature, but you do have to register it at a bank, I believe. Over here, hello. Do you know what it is? Uh, yeah, it's a dragon beard candy, right? Come on, take it uh, I would like to visit. Thank you. Exactly, dragon beard candy. Oh, do you mind if I record linking it? Take a video, okay? Yeah. Long time ago, Korean traditional festival. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from America. America. Mm. Have you ever tried before? Uh, I have not actually tried before the dragon beard candy. Yummy, 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 <laughs> yummy for your tummy. Nice. Can you go to the uh, outside the white color made by honey. Mm. Honey string, 16,000. Honey string. Whoa. Yeah, 1,000 string. Very, very thick. Oh. Not too sweet, very, very soft. Mm. And inside, put in three flavors. Oh. Seven kind of nuts. Almond, oh. peanut, sesame, nut flavor. Oh. And chocolate and tropical flavor. Oh, sounds really nice. Nuts and chocolate, many, many pudding. Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Done. 
Just uh. eat very, very soft. Oh. Uh, this biscuit keep outside one month, egg by day. Outside one month, refrigerate inside three months. Okay. Mm. Bring them home, your family, friends, so many. Very nice. Oh. Uh, we sell like this three flavor, notch flavor, 7,000, chocolate, and tropical fresh. Oh, what's the tropical one? Yeah, one? very good fresh. Mm. Yeah, we're here, the sugar too. You call it your first time? No, no, I've lived here for some time. Just. You living here? Mm. Uh, 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 mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to stop by after maybe lunch. Yeah, chocolate sounds really good. Now making first. Oh. This is honey. Honey, ah. Yeah. <coughs> honey and sticky like three daily boiling to be fermented. Mm. Fermented honey, now very. Very hard. Very hard. This is white flour, cornstarch, corn ah, corn honey and corn flour. Honey now very hard, now it's very too sweet. And too sweet. First to make a hole. Ah. Next hole, like to make a hole. And next four hand made. Only stretching, stretching, little by little. I'm making 16,384 honey streaks. Oh, very, very so many. Yeah. Stretching, 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 little <laughs> by little. Slowly, yeah, slowly, of course, little right? Little. Yeah. Now, honey string one. Wow. Wow. Doubling two. Two double four. One double eight. Oh. Double, 16, 32, 64, 128. Wow. 256, 500 pounds. <laughs> now middle side, 1024. Do you memorize the math or yeah. just the motion? Just memorize. Uh -huh. <laughs> Keep going, 2000, 4000, 8000. Last 16,384 honey sticks. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Shut up. Looks so good. Looks like hair, right? Yeah. Honey string very very thin, not mm. too sweet, very very mm. soft. Too. And next inside the pudding, three flavors. Mm. Oh, it looks really delicious. Nuts, almond, peanut, sesame, nuts flavor, mm -hmm. and chocolate and tropical flavor. Tropical flavor. Honey, one more cutting. Highlight, shut up. One more cut, nuts and chocolate juice, many many pudding. Rolling, 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 yummy, 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 <laughs> yummy for you, coming, done, just eat, Korean, wow. thank you. Chocolate, 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 it's me, da. Hey, sir, one more pack, give me the hand. Oh, hand? It's okay. Oh, thank you. All right, guys. He gave us a free sample, which is really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Yeah, this is chocolate or not chocolate one. All right, let's see. Mmm. Mmm. It's very chewy, but mmm. The chocolate one is. Oh, that's very nice. Mmm. The strands, it looks like a ball of hair, <laughs> but the chocolate inside and combined with the um. The nice texture of the hair is very, very good. Now Highly recommend. It's very, very soft, but this biscuit is better frozen. Oh, frozen? Very, frozen? Very, crispy, oh. More very nice. This shop is very good. I recommend. Mm. Okay, we did buy some uh, a box as well. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, guys. All right. Well, we had our little detour there. Stop by and get some uh, dragon beard candy. I think that's the thing about In Sadong, is that there's a lot of guys trying to sell um, their stuff. But, uh, and you get hooked in quite easily because they're so nice, but it's actually quite good and it was fun to watch and I want to respect that. Also for any, uh, you know, people who want to see, you know, nice stuff over here, you can buy some wickedly large brushes. I don't, I don't know why, but you can. Just some of the things you can see in these on them. All right, let's keep doing our little walking tour. See what else there is to, to see, hear, and uh, have fun with.
All right, guys, we made it to the end of the Insadong uh, walking street. Um, it's not very long, but there are a lot of shops in between the alley spaces as well. Uh, but I think this is kind of like the main area that most people come in. There's not really a front entrance or a back entrance or anything like that. There's just you walk in from one side and go, go to the other. Uh, but I do believe most people come from this side. There is a station nearby this area. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. But there is a palace uh, right over there, uh, just a bit walking distance. Um, and in this area, Insadong, Iksandong, Iksomdong, uh, Samchongdong, we're, we're very close to all of these like very cultural areas. We have visited many places in Seoul and I wanted to show you another one of the cultural places that maybe you guys would like to visit aside from all the other places that we visited. Again, this place is a bit touristy. You can see that they really want to try to drag you in and uh, be very friendly and kind of get you to spend some money, but it's all for good fun. It's still very cool to come and visit and enjoy and be a part of the area, I guess. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and walk back a little bit, go grab some nice, delicious traditional Korean lunch, because I'm very hungry. Maybe some dorsa bimbap, that's kind of what I feel like eating. But I uh, hope you guys are enjoying so far and let's go grab some lunch. Yo, welcome back guys, we're inside our super traditional restaurant uh very luckily not many people here which is very nice but uh we ordered three things we got dorsa bimimbap we got some karbi jim and mandu sundubu which i'm very excited for but mostly the dorsa is what i'm all about this is one of my favorite things to eat it's basically bimimbap but it's hotter it's got uh, the hot plate which of course you don't really want to touch uh they give you this gochujang little ketchup bottle to put in there to mix around with also let me go ahead and show you uh, all the different food for you so here we got the dorsa and then a lot of korean restaurants as you already know have a bunch of different side dishes i wasn't expecting the side the japche the japche as a side dish is actually really really nice you don't usually see japche as a side dish uh, but here we have some seaweed kimchi these are pretty standard and a little nice little soup and here we're getting our next few dishes which we have our mandu sundubu and our pork garbi or deji garbi. Oh God, look at that guys. It looks so good. <laughs> oh, this is one of the reasons why you want to come to Insadong. Come try these uh, beautiful, lovely traditional Korean restaurants. As you can see over here. Wow. It's so nice though. We're one of the few only people here. So let me go ahead and uh, dig in. But bimbap is one of my favorite dishes. It has a mixture of bulgogi, spinach, bean sprouts, rice, carrots. It's got a little bit of everything. Let me kind of just take a bite of that for you guys. Mm. Really top-notch quality stuff. You can't go wrong with those on bimbap. It's hot. It's delicious. It's far superior than a bimbap. Let's go ahead and try this garbi. Now, garbi usually has a um, spicy, or garbi jim is usually spicy, uh, but this one seems like a normal one. Mm. Oh, that flavor is so good. You can't beat the flavor of garbi jim. Mm. And the meat is so tender, and just <clears throat> it kind of just falls off the bone. Sorry, I did get like a like a pepper there, but uh, everything here that we're trying. Mm. So, 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 so good. All right, now let's do, dig into these the sundubu. I'm very happy because it doesn't look like, yeah, this sundubu doesn't have any fish, which I'm very happy. Uh, some sundubu, you have to be careful because they do put fish in, usually like crab or something like that. I personally can't eat fish, so that's why I'm very happy about it. But sundubu is one of my favorite hot soups to eat. Let's give it a bite. Oh, nice flavor. Very nice flavor. I've never seen sundubu with dumpling before, actually. So, like, I've never seen uh, sundubu. And these are, like, pretty thick dumplings, too. Like, these are very, very, very big dumplings. Let's see. Mmm. Oh, it's very hot. Oh, oh but it's so nice. Oh, my mandu is all broken up. No, my mandu. Oh. oh, 
all flavor is so good, guys. You get some side dishes, of course. Let's try their, um, let's try their Japchae. Chapchae is very nice. It's a little cold for me. Um, I do prefer to eat warm chapchae, but uh, it, otherwise the flavor is quite nice. Mm. Kimchi is very good. Highly recommend just coming here to Intadong to try a very, very delicious uh, traditional Korean food. I can't recommend it enough. Uh, we're over here at the restaurant um, Sadong Myono, as you can see here. Right. I do highly recommend uh, checking this place out or any one of the other traditional restaurants that you can see around here. And these restaurants are in like the back alleys, so it's a bit harder to find them. So you do have to walk around in the back alleys and try to figure out maybe some food that you want to try and eat. So we're going to go ahead and finish this meal. Thank you guys. And uh, can't wait to see you guys at our very fun cafe we have later. All right, we're about to enter the famous Samjikgu. We're gonna go to the top here, but we're gonna go ahead and take the lovely little stairs and just take a quick walk around. As you can see, rooftop, cafe, <clears throat> and that's the one we're going, this cafe right here. So I'll see you all inside for a really cool, special cafe. All right, welcome guys. We are inside now, the cafe we're going to, which is the very famous uh, poo cafe. <laughs> Everything is poo themed, toilet themed, and celebration of pooing is pretty great. This, uh, this cafe is really, really, really cool. They have a lot of just fun, unique items related to poo and snacks. But this is a cafe that you can uh, come and get some food, some drinks. We're getting this rosate over here. And then, as you can see, the, some of the food items are uh, <laughs> very uh, fun related. But it is a normal cafe for the most part, just a very unique style. And this is the, the full restaurant, or sorry, the full cafe. Over here, we have a nice little <laughs> toilet over here, and big poo man over here as well. Kind of scary. But yeah, this is the whole cafe. This is the unique and special place I wanted to show for you guys. I really, really, really dig it. Uh, looking forward to trying the Rose Latte, but I wanted to kind of just give a show off of this really, really cool and unique cafe at Shamjikir. All right, guys, we just got our lovely toilet bowl latte. It's got a little cute little poo man here that's wearing a little flower. This is called the Rose Latte, and then the only two drinks that come in a toilet bowl like this are the Rose Latte and the Mojito. So I'll uh, just kind of give a full scope of this. It even has a little flush handle here. Beep, beep. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this, this cafe is very, very, um, very unique. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a shot and uh, see how good it tastes. All right, I don't, they, there is a little handle here, so. There we go. Cheers. You know, not actually my favorite. I wish I could have just gotten a normal latte. Um, like, it has a really strong rose flavor. Ah, uh, yeah, it's like, a, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of the flavor to be honest. Um, it's that rose, that rose flavor that does it for me. Let me do a different angle for you guys. It looks so weird. It looks so weird to just drink out of a toilet bowl. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the poo cafe. I mean, <laughs> it's a poo cafe, <laughs> toilet cafes. It's, uh, it's pretty cool, I think, in my opinion. I, I, I really enjoyed it um, for the novelty. The drink is whatever but they do have a lot of cool food items too uh that come like in a urinal or in a poo you know toilet or something like that it's very similar uh but yeah we're gonna wrap up today's tour in this cafe hope you guys enjoyed uh Insadong walking tour the food that we did and uh 
I highly recommend coming to this novelty cafe. It's really cool. It's at the top floor of uh, Samjikir. Very easy to access, very easy to get to, and uh, yeah, it's not very big, uh, but it's a lot of fun. It's a very, very cool, unique experience that I don't think you'd experience anywhere else. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you guys next time for another awesome video. Peace, guys. Be safe.